What's up? This is Mav Hoffa. It's my man Carl Payne. I need y'all to click the link below yeah. and go vote for my guy. He's up for the Best out Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Television Movie, Limited Series, or Dramatic Special. Ah! Go vote! Yes! Click the link! Click go the vote, link! Motherfucker. Ooh, let's get it! <laughs> when you up and you win and shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit a boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself. Staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. Try to cut the streets off and turn it to extortion. Everybody snitching, niggas bidding like an auction. Life is short till you hear it sentence when the court done. He was moving faster than a bullet, then he caught one. Why did you book me a flight on Spirit? I did not. <laughs> you did. I did not. If I'm such a, how I you put me that. on Spirit? I didn't do that. Come on, man. It was son, in me. Son, it was in me. Spirit. You thought I it was didn't Sprint. Spirit. I left last week. I just got here. <laughs> you understand what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man. Put that I would never. Your... No, dude, yeah. it's the mega bus of the sky. We make 94 fucking stops. Yo. Seriously. How much, how much was your bag? How much they charge you for your bag? Yeah, this is the, they think they funny, man. They funny. You funny. You funny. It's cool. It's cool. I'm here safely. No, know? seriously, with spirit? Yeah, that come on. Me? Come on. That was your people, man. That was man. Not me. It was. I couldn't I even. Call your agent. I bet come you on, wasn't. Man. They don't even have, like. I'm... You said it was a mega bus in the air. Ain't no, ain't no spirit on spirit, man. Come on. Man. We only go through Delta. That was somebody else. Guaranteed. They got seats that feel like like baby car seats. Like, they, feel like, they feel like little folding chairs with cloth on them. The you strap know? come yeah, over like, like this. Come on. Man. Crazy. It's cool, Listen, though. It's I, cool. I waited, uh, I say about 20, 25 years to ask this question. It's very, it, it's something that's plagued my mind forever. What was Tommy's job, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, what was his job? Like, we, everybody was, what was his actual job? Was he a drug dealer? Because I used to think he was a drug dealer. Tommy ain't got no job. <laughs> like, what you talking about, yo? <laughs> Come on, man. But was it like, like, yo, I swear, because you used to wear the leathers all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. You, Come, yo, you know what it was? You know what it was, man? We, we tried our best to emulate, not even emulate, just bring what we knew was real. Right. And you know there was always that one dude. The uncle. The always that what had everything, had the ring on every finger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> had the ring on every finger, do his hands like this a lot. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And his knees moved together. <laughs> <laughs> but you never knew what he did. Right. He was always fly. He always had everything. Yeah. So, you know, we we tried to bring a lot of those things that we grew up having to the um to the screen, you know. But but in real in real life, um, first of all, Tommy was like my best friend. Tommy was definitely my best friend in real life. And um, he was like, when everybody would say, you know, he ain't got a job, he would say, yes, I do. I'm being about my father's business. Mm. That's my job. Mm. And he was really heavy into, you know, um, changing, making a change for the future, like kids and and, and reaching back and giving back and making sure that, you know, young boys knew how to grow into men mm. and, be, and be responsible and response able. Like he was really a child advocate in terms of, you know, the future. And so wow. it's always funny when everybody talk about not having a job. And I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, he did. He had a big ass job. Right. Mm. You know? Yeah, he was, he was, he was very, very much a mature voice on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he'll be missed. Love Tommy, Tommy yeah. Wilde. Yeah, rest in peace. All right, let's rewind back. Yeah. We watched the clip earlier. Okay. You got casted for uh, The Last Dragon. <laughs> and, and you learned a lot of things yeah. during that casting. Um, can you break that down for us? So I was new. I was a newbie to the game. And um, back then you used to have like a lot of different, the process was longer, right? Cause you would audition and then you would get a call back and then you would get like a second call back and you go to the producer session and then so it was like a lot right, right. 
tournament style. <laughs> different, right. different, you know, you got to be a different animal. And you had to win the room over every time. Long story short, that was one of the first things I learned on how to audition and how to whatever. And it came down between me and the cat that was playing Richie originally. And, um, you know, there was like, um, they said they had some other roles they wanted me to look at. And I was like, cool. So they, they eventually brought me back for this other role. But that was the first time that I realized you could end up on like the cutting room floor. Cause we had a whole scene. I was just happy to be a part of the thing. You know what I'm saying? And we had a whole scene going on and you see the movie and everything is gone before that. Mm. And then now you just see me helping him out the trash can, like you are right, Rich. <laughs> I don't even know if that made it. It's like it's like in the background. I, right. I think you see my mouth moving, but you don't see the words coming out. Right. But that was the first time I learned, like, yo, you can end up on the cutting room floor. A lot of people in the movie were related, and then you'd be like, oh, so they got the job. Oh, that's called nepotism. Okay, mm. stuff like that. Mm. You know. But that was also my first experience, like doing a movie. And that's the first time my name was on the screen, on the big screen. So my mom was happy. That's fire. You know that was mean? the first time. I mean, and that movie's iconic. <laughs> Man. So like, like, what was it 80s. like when it was out? Like, oh, it was you're, crazy. You're, you're how old at this time? I think I was 14, 15 years old. 14, 15. Yeah, I think I was 14, 15 years old. And, um, but I think I was doing Cosby at the time too. So I, I was doing, yeah, I was I was oh, cockroach. So you had, oh, you had. Oh. I was cockroach already. Right. Nope. I was Couldn't just about. Been. No, no, I was just about right. to. I was okay. just about to be. Right. That's a redemption story there too. Right. Because an old boy was mad cocky who got the part of Richie. Mm, okay. He was mad cocky, you know, because when I came to the set that day, he had already been working and, you know, he had a trailer. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You know, I was like, ooh, this is nice. Right. I just like, I'm like, oh, this is nice. He's like, yeah, you know, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, that was his actual, like, yeah. I was like, all right. He had these red leather pants. He was trying on these different pants and went, pause, pause, pause. Not in front right. of me. Right. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you know, he, <laughs> he's in the trailer, like, yeah, the red ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, those. It, yeah, so yeah. he was basically, you know, he had just got the Michael Jackson jacket. You know, he was showing off his right. stuff. Mm -hmm. All I could think, you know, I don't know if he was trying to make me jealous, but, you know, where I come from, we don't trip on that. You know what I'm saying? All I looked at was like, oh, my turn coming. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, ah, that's fly. That's fly. Where you see mine. Right. So, yeah, yeah, it was interesting. And then it the Cosby show. And then the, the, you got Cosby. So, <laughs> <laughs> fast forward, auditions for Cockroach, and he was there. He was there again. And he made it down to, like, I mean, you know, certain people back then, you would always just go head to head with them on different jobs. And um, yeah, he, he was like one of the last people there too. And then he came out the room and said some real cocky shit like, y'all could go home. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, wow, like, oh, you know what I mean? It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. 